Jeanine Chonard up in New Brunswick has made up a diagram which explains the vacuum hose routing that was used on the Chrysler heater assemblies. This one we're talking about is the non-air conditioned and if you were to have a parts car and pull out the heater assembly you'd have what I have sitting in front of us. There are three vacuum motors so this tangle of vacuum hoses and there's seven of them you'd think it was fairly complicated but each vacuum motor requires two hoses because the vacuum motor is not spring loaded so it needs vacuum to pull it to the right and vacuum then to pull it back to the left so there are seven ports well one port is the vacuum feed that leaves you six there's three motors there's two hoses it all fits In uh, Johnny's system, one of the diagram, one of the things to remember is which side of the plug you're looking at. He has this, uh, the pins on the back side of the plug, not, not on this face. So this would be what's known as the, the blower door or the main door. This is the defroster motor. When we say motor, all that means is it's a vacuum can with an actuating rod and it just moves the door here or here and that's why it's a motor. On the defroster door, it uh, will block off the discharge to the floor, forcing the air up through the defroster vents. And the third door is the fresh air door, which mounts up under the dashboard. It's on the firewall, and there's a, a door assembly which you really would never see unless you had the heater box removed and there you would see the other side of it but that's what this door is so it's really not as complicated as what you might think This is a picture that I got from the 59 service manual. It's for air conditioned cars. And it tells me which pin is supposed to work which motor. So I'm going to take a little air compressor and see if I can duplicate uh, this vacuum logic. This is the heater box assembly off of an air-conditioned car. This one happens to be off an Imperial, but the Chrysler version would be nearly identical. It has four vacuum motors instead of three that you have on the non-air-conditioned cars. But number four vacuum motor is teed off of the system, so really it's no extra complication. There we go. See the T splice? And there's two of them. One for the push. One for the motor in one direction, one for the motor in the other.
it just works when one of the other three motors works. And she uses the same seven seven pin vacuum system. I'm going to be using uh, compressed air to uh, run through these ports and see how it compares with the diagram that I have from the 1959 manual. Taking a look at the four motors, this vacuum motor runs the main door. This one is the defroster, which is a little more complicated because you have these floor vents which roll up, but still it deflects the floor air up into the defroster system. They call this the fresh air, fresh air or recirculating motor door. And then way out here, this would be in the engine compartment by the um, heater box. You would find another vacuum motor which runs one of the doors and it's got this long set of vacuum hoses. And it runs off of the standard seven pin connector. So today, I'm going to be taking an air compressor and going through these ports to see how this system compares with the diagram from the 1959 service manual. So let's see how this works. Now I'll be using air pressure instead of vacuum, so the rod will be moving in the opposite direction. But at least it'll tell us that we've got the right motor so, uh, no sense, no sense try and pin two because we know that is the vacuum source. So this one says bypass and distributing door open okay it that works the defroster motor that would be let's try that main door. Well, that should be that motor way over there. And I see it's the main door. Main door opposite direction. See the main door move? This says recirculating door open. That's that little motor that I just laid right there. This is recirculating door one way. This one is recirculating door the other way. There. I don't have a very fine point on the nozzle, so I'm hitting more than one. The vacuum logic is the same as the picture 
in the 1959 air conditioning service manual schematic.